Okay, welcome back for our first real lesson. That was our introductory lesson, encouraging you to want to use your brain well and to get on course for optimal productivity. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how your brain uses electrical energy so that you can figure out, and I'm gonna help you, how to use that electrical energy well for the rest of your life. Okay, so primarily there are three types of brain speeds. There's fast brain speed, which is over here, and I use my hands to portray how fast the electrical energy is going. It's like this, 20 hertz, 25 hertz. It's very fast cycles per second in the use of electrical energy. Very fast brain speed can make it so that sometimes you're hyper-focused, and it definitely is necessary under stress so that you can kick your nervous system into overdrive so that you can run away from that tiger back in caveman days. You can run away from that tiger so that the tiger doesn't eat you. Now, this is the difference from caveman days and from today is that back in caveman days, the caveman would run away from the tiger or he would spear the tiger and then his nervous system would come down out of this extra fast speed. It's fight or flight. And we know from the science, the way we live our lives now, we put ourselves into mini fight or flight constantly throughout our days. Very unhealthy. Rushing to appointments, trying to get too many projects done at the same time, trying to juggle work, home, and a life. We have ourselves overextended, which is putting us into mini fight or flight throughout our days and our lives, making it very difficult for our brain to come out of this very, very, very fast speed. So over here on the opposite side of the continuum is very slow brain speed. This is the ideal speed when your brain is falling asleep and for you to be able to stay asleep throughout the night. Down here, you're at three, four hertz very slow electrical energy. It makes you feel groggy. It makes you feel tired. In the middle is perfect processing speed for calm focus. We want more of the processing speed in the middle for calm focus so that you can feel productive, calm and focused, not out here stressed and anxious and on overdrive like you have to push, push, push and keep going. We don't want you to feel during the day that your brain is slowing down and you feel groggy, you feel lack of focus, distracted, exhausted, overwhelmed, fatigued. That's what happens when you use too much extra fast speed, the slow speed increases simultaneously. And when your brain is using these speeds out in the extreme, it's the polar opposite of what we wanna create for optimal productivity. So what our goal in this fundamental brain training program is, is to teach you to bring these speeds down, bring down that stressy overdrive, go, go, go mode, and bring down that overwhelmed, feeling exhausted, feeling burnt out mode, and we're going to pop up calm focused mode in the middle so you can be present and enjoy the work that you're doing and do it at your best. You can be with your family and your friends and your honey when it's time for you to be in relationship mode. You can put your work on the back burner because you're in this calm and focused mode. When it's time to go do your hobbies, you can be engaged in it, not wishing you were somewhere else. We're going to put past and future thinking behind and get your brain into the mode that it is in the zone in the here and the now. And we're going to do it by rewiring your brain to use optimal perfect processing speed. Now follow me through to the next activity because I'm going to tell you how the use of these electrical speeds, how they then translate into the electromagnetic energy field that is coming off of your body and we know this is proven by science, and then it has emotional correlates or states that can be felt by you and that are then generated out from you in your electromagnetic field, and you can either resonate at very low energy fields that repel 
people and experiences and opportunity, or you can resonate at high healthy energy levels in your, in your EMF field so that you attract to you other people, you attract opportunities, and you can create on purpose and intentionally in your life. Follow me through because I'm going to tell you how to get some of that. I'll see you in the next activity.